Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Poke Sue Channel on the Guitar Lover System. Hey, I, I just did a video on this guitar yesterday, I think, but I took the flat wands off. I'm not real crazy about flat wands. I think you lose a lot of tone. Um, but this is a very limited edition Rosewood Ibanez AG95RW. It seriously is one of the best guitars I've ever played in my life in terms of having tone. I don't even know how to describe the tone. Um, a cross between a great 175 and an L5 CES. By the way, sometimes people ask me or wonder where I get all my guitars. I, you know, it's not something I really like to talk a lot about. But just to satisfy people's curiosity, you know, I've been doing this since I was around 22. I'm 68. So I've been doing this for 40 years or more. And uh, I have a network of, you know, studio musicians, producers, recording studio owners, some who I've worked for, um, either on my CD or other sessions, uh, you know, collectors, you know, players, just all kinds of different people that I keep in contact with, and they know that if they have a, a high quality guitar for sale, I'm gonna pay more for it than, you know, than like a music store or a pawn shop. Some people even just send me their guitars. We usually talk about it on the phone first and try to come up with some type of a, a middle ground. They know I need to make a little profit on the guitars, but I pay really well for stuff, especially especially if somebody has an ear. And that's one of the real pluses to the people that, I, that sell me their guitars. Uh, as well as guitars, you know, that, that I buy from people that I don't know. But um, it's always nice when somebody is a player or owns a recording studio or is a producer um, because they have an ear and they, they picked out a really great guitar. It's kind of rare, to be honest about it. Most people have really have trouble hearing a great guitar. But this guitar with the, with the regular strings sounds so beautiful. Just want to mention again this is probably gonna this is video is not gonna maybe you know fall in sync with as much focus as maybe some might prefer but when, when I somebody asked me about about the fretboard once when I look at the fretboard I see you know a, a lot of, of uh, variety of sounds and chords that connect and that's why it's really important when you're working uh, on, on guitar. For instance, with my guitar ladder system, you can do cycle one. Right. But I always ask people to improvise, and I think people, you know, get nervous about that. Um, but the improvisation can be really simple. Let me show you how simple this thing sounds so clear. I think that's what this guitar I love about it is it's a is it, it's super clear but also woody and warm and defined but for instance you could take you could take one chord like a major seven and just uh, flat that one flat to five on it and you, you've changed it you know so even though I talk a lot about doing my guitar ladder studies without thinking, which is really important, there's also a time when every day you should improvise a little bit, you know, just play one chord and take off and see where you can go and don't be all judgmental about it. And if you get stuck, you can think diatonically. You can think, you know, move chords intervagally, a minor third, a perfect fourth. You can move chords a flat five. You can do diatonic, you know, adhering to the major, minor, minor, major, dominant, minor, minor, seven, flat, five, major, set up by the major scale. I'll talk about this more in the future. But my point is that, you know, it's not about results. When you work in my guitar ladder studies, it is important just to play them and not think, so you, they, they soak into your subconscious mind. But then you want to go back and, and see what you can change or add. For instance, in cycle one, you 
had to diminish. Also get the bass line going. There's so much you can do. You can do. You can incorporate cycle two into cycle one, where you get the uh, major major thirteen flat five. God, I love the sound of this guitar. Actually, the, the treble pickup. And it sounds great. Uh, I, I haven't played, I don't think I've played this even once yet on Overdrive. this at all, try to be a good neighbor. But... As you can hear, it sounds very, very good. Um, but anyway, I just, I had a couple people interested in this guitar. They wanted to hear it with, without the flat. Now this is only a 60 watt amp. So you get even more headroom which creates more tone and more depth. So I'll, I'll use my other PV amp, which I think is about 200 watts. I'll do another demo. And I, again, I don't have much volume at all on here. Let me just add a little bit more for a second. Now I've got, I've got, let me back off the treble back off the tone a little bit, but yeah, it's just really a... But yeah, what a great sound. These strings are stretching, I just put them on. Yeah, actually I put them on this morning now that I remember it. I, got, I woke up about 6 this day, so I had to get up at about 6.30. Sometimes you just wake up in the morning and your, your circadian rhythms just say, get the hell up, you know? <laughs> short demo but I just like I said I've got a few people that want to hear this see when you get rid, got rid of the flat ones there's a whole new life of mid-range and mid bass that comes to play if you compare this tone of course the other tone with the flat ones sounded pretty damn good to me but uh, yeah this guitar sounds great It's a little dusty right now. I know I need to clean it up. I don't think you could get a better, uh, you know, a better sounding guitar or looking guitar. It's just so, the, the rosewood is just so beautiful. And it's just, I think it adds to the sound because, you know, just like if you play a nice Martin D35, you know, you hear, and especially with the three piece back of the D35, you get that tremendous mid range. You know, I don't see a center seam in the back. There might be, I'd have to get a little more light to check, but. 
This guitar just sounds tremendous. I think I think this is one of those things a lot of people don't realize just why like a like a rosewood telly sounds so good, you know. Rosewood is not just for acoustic guitars, you know. And it has a certain it has a certain depth, a certain a certain uh, beautiful sell it but I will but yeah I, I don't think I don't think you can get a better sound you go spend 12 grand on a guitar I don't think you can get a better sound than this I really don't so and people are starting to realize that you know I'm pretty darn good at picking out guitars with mojo because if, if I don't if I don't love a guitar and I'm not excited like today I was sitting in my living room and I was looking at a bunch of cases and I was like which guitar is in that case and then I opened it up oh it's a made in Japan aria acoustic that just sounds beautiful and uh, I have to be excited about owning a guitar. I don't, I don't have it, you know. I don't buy it in the first place. But yeah, I, bu I buy from a vast network of, like I said, studio musicians, studio owners, producers, entrepreneurs, collectors. And a lot of them I've known for a long, long time. When they have something to sell, they know I'll pay more. I'll pay more than, a, you know, most music stores or pawn shops, obviously, that... But um, they know I, I'm willing to work with them on it, and they, they leave some meat in the bone for me, you know. But anyway, uh, this is one of my, I've, I've owned a lot of jazz boxes. I consider, I consider myself an expert on jazz boxes, and this, this is one of, the, one of the best sounding jazz boxes you can buy, even if you want to spend 20 grand. I know that's a bold statement, but... You know, I played L5, CES, Super 400, Stromberg, all kinds of stuff, but there's something really special about, about this guitar. So, anyways, a couple of people want to hear it with the flat ones off, so there you go. If you want to hit me up, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not able to answer my phone every time somebody calls, leave the message or text me, 714-548-0385, or email stevezook7 at yahoo.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K, the number seven, not spelled out seven at yahoo.com this is such a beautiful guitar and it just sounds incredible i um i'm really having trouble even thinking about selling it right now so uh i don't know that's not that's not sales acting either i really love this guitar as i do most of my great stuff all righty it plays just unbelievable it's got really low action all the notes ring out nice and clear i've got levens on it right now and it just sounds unbelievable. It's so clear. It almost sounds like somebody has a parametric in there that, that you know they spent thirty grand to develop. <laughs> 